Let's talk about acidity. In sourdough, there is two measuring points. You can measure the pH and therefore you need a pH probe. But there is also the total titratable acidity. And therefore, unfortunately, you need some gears. This is what you need when you want to measure the TTA. A very precise scale. The sourdough we are going to measure, a measuring unit, some distilled water, a pH meter, a jar or cup or beaker to, to, to do the measurement actually. This is a magnetic, magnetic, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> In French we say une puce, a flea, which comes on a magnetic stirrer. And here we have some sodium hydroxide at a dilution of 0.1 molar. The first thing we need to do is to scale 10 grams of sourdough. We have 10.25 grams of sourdough. We need 100 milliliters of water. This we add in the beaker and now starts the fun. This is magnetic and this is also magnetic. So what will happen when I drop it in and I switch on the machine, the sourdough gets diluted into the water. What we need to do now is to start measuring the pH of this solution. This is now the actual pH of this solution, is 4.31. What we are going to do now is to add, little by little, droplet by droplet, the sodium hydroxide. This is very high in pH, so what it will do, it will bring up the pH, little by little, of our solution. The scientist who has invented uh, this, uh, this measuring uh, system has defined that we need to increase the pH until 8.4. Okay? That is the standard that is used to measure the, the, the acidity. So I'm going to open the valve and you will see that little by little the droplets are going to fall and you will see here that the pH gradually will increase. Now I have to keep an eye on this, I don't have to go too fast. And what we will do then is to measure how much sodium hydroxide I used and that we will put into our calculation and then we will know how much acids are present in the sourdough. We're almost there. Yes, we did it! 8.4. What's important now is to find out how much of the sodium hydroxide solution we used. We started at 35, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 point, point 0.2. The calculation now to know the acidity is the quantity of sodium hydroxide divided by the quantity of sourdough times 10. I'm very bad at math. So the acidity of Amanda, my sourdough, is right now 8.79 degrees of acidity or TTA. What you have to remember from this measurement is that, well, okay, it's not simple, you need some gear, but it is actually much more accurate than the pH. Because what can happen is that you have two sourdoughs with the same pH, but a total different amount of titratable acidity. One can have nine, and another one can easily have 19, for instance. So that's very important to know. And to get rid of these acids, if they are too high, then you can give your sourdough a bath, or you can, more, you can give more frequent refreshments, or use less starter to make a refreshment. So there's different options to control the TTA, but 
Most important here is, was to show you how to measure the TTA.